packing when you're visiting New York sometimes can be a little overwhelming. Sometimes you don't know what to wear a certain month. Don't worry, I got you covered because today I'm going to cover what to wear every single month. I'm going to give you some tips for men and women. For example, what to wear on your feet. You walk a lot here, so definitely you're not going to want to wear stilettos. To make this video better for you, I've put timestamps on each month so that you can select the time you're coming and just watch that section because no one wants to waste their time, right? You can tap the month on the video play bar below or simply fast forward to the timestamp you see on the screen. Remember to subscribe if you're visiting New York for even more tips on the best things to do. Sit back, relax, get my packing guide link below and uh, let's get started. <laughs> Winter can be the trickiest, so I'm gonna start with that first. On average, it is between 27 degrees and 44 degrees. And the most important thing to know about this is that you must have a heavy coat. A pea coat won't do it. You're gonna be freezing, trust me. Louis and I use Triple Fat Goose, which is on the pricier side, but it was worth the investment since we live here. Now, if you're visiting and you don't have a coat, then I actually recommend renting one. You can use Rent the Runway to do this. They have a wide selection of coats and other cute outfits. Use code RTRS funk for 40% off for the first two months and you're also going to need to layer with long johns under your regular clothes and then put a coat over everything now watch my guide on how to dress for winter link below for more details on that but on to the next month March is when a pea coat or a lighter winter jacket is doable. However, you still absolutely need a coat, so rent one if necessary. I recommend wearing sweaters, long sleeves, and pants this time of year underneath your coat. Knee high and ankle boots are great because the temperature can really vary between 35 degrees and 50 degrees. And I don't recommend using a boot with a heel if you plan on walking most places because your feet will hurt. And I promise you're going to walk more than you're expecting to. Everyone tells me this. By the way, for a full list of all of the clothing and accessories shown in this video, click on the packing article below. Rain is common in April, so make sure you bring a rain jacket and an umbrella. Now, if you forget one, don't worry. The street vendors sell umbrellas on almost every single corner for about $5. This time of year, the temperature ranges from 45 degrees to 62 degrees. You're still gonna need some type of jacket, and I don't recommend short sleeves unless you run warm like Louis does. I normally wear long pants, long sleeves, and always have a jacket with me. So what bag do you pack? There are so many options for luggage these days and one of my favorites is the Nomad Lane Vento bag. It's absolutely stunningly gorgeous and it transitions really easily from a carry-on bag in the airplane to something you can bring right into the office or even wear with different looks. I love this beautiful green color. It's really the most thoughtful travel bag ever because they've really put everything in that you could possibly need. So there's so many different pockets, so many different areas for your keys. You can fit up to a 16 inch laptop in here. There's actually a charging port right on the bag and the zippers just allow you to stay super, super organized with all their little different compartments. When I'm traveling long distances, so I have like a big suitcase, I'll put it right on top and it's just so smooth. It's like the smoothest sailing possible through the airport. So you can carry it in your hands or you can actually use their shoulder strap option and the bag is perfectly sized so it fits right underneath all airplane seats, making it super easy to travel. All the pockets are security friendly so you don't have to be worrying about being stuck in TSA, uh, them digging through things. It's just great, you guys. Definitely check out this Nomad Lane bento bag and use this code right here to save a little bit on it if you want to pick it up. It's one of my favorites. And it's just great if you're traveling to New York by plane, train, or automobile. Now we're getting into the more enjoyable weather months. May is beautiful because the flowers are blooming and the temperature is much more comfortable. It ranges from 54 degrees to 72 degrees on average. And this means you can bring out those skirts, dresses, and shorts if you're comfortable in them. I carry a jacket with me still at night because it can get cold, but I also tend to have a hat and sunglasses with me because it can be sunny. 
Take a look at my shoes. These are Rothy's and they are by far the most comfortable shoe brand out there. Let's talk about it. What shoes do you wear in New York? Well, as a guy, you can wear any type of sneaker. Most of guys' shoes are flat, let's be real here. They're comfortable, they're easy to wear, they're great, they can be fashionable, they could be anything. Women, now, it's a little bit more complicated because we wanna be fashionable, uh, yet we don't wanna just wear running shoes, you know? And this is why Rothy's are great, okay? Very comfortable, made out of recycled bottles. Literally, I can do like, multiple tours in a row in these, so I'm very confident in saying that like you can spend every day walking around the city for a week, like miles a day, and still be comfortable. Come in all different colors. I like the black ones. They come in white. I also have them in white as sneakers. These are your go-to shoes, okay? I'll link them below. Now the rest of this guide, I'm gonna be wearing some different styles. Two things I wanna mention real quick. Number one, one of the ways New Yorkers can tell if you're a tourist is if you're wearing running shoes with a regular look. New Yorkers really don't wear running shoes. We wear like the just more fashion forward looks. Not that running shoes has anything wrong with them, but just FYI. Second thing I wanna mention, ladies or some men, if you wanna wear stilettos or high heels, the move that we do is we bring a comfortable pair of shoes like Rothy's, we walk to the place in those, then right before you enter the restaurant, the show, the venue, whatever, that's when you put the heels on, okay? I have a bad back, so I always have to wear comfortable shoes on the way there. It's the only real solution. So, that's the play that we do here in New York. June is my favorite month of the year because the weather is absolutely perfect and it's my birthday month. On average, the temperature is between 64 and 80 degrees, and it isn't often too humid unless you're closer to the end of June. This makes for absolutely perfect weather for spending time outdoors, perhaps joining one of my New York City tours, hint, hint, I'm kidding, but you're welcome to, seriously. Let's get back to the fashion though. Because it is perfect weather, you can wear clothing that is light material. I'm a fan of rompers, skirts, dresses, t-shirts, and shorts this time of year, and I generally bring a light jacket if I'm going out at night because I tend to get cold. Cold. Overall, this is a great time of year to visit New York City. July through August can be extremely humid, and therefore I recommend wearing t-shirts, tank tops, skirts, shorts, or dresses, essentially the least amount of clothing that is publicly acceptable. The temperature ranges from 68 to 85 degrees on average, but it is very normal for it to be in the 90s these days, and I know that that may not seem hot to some residents of desert locations, but let me tell you what, with the humidity, it can be extremely uncomfortable. So plan your day around avoiding the time period Period between noon and 3 p.m. You don't want to be outside then because it is when it is super hot and super humid. Also, remember to wear sunglasses and your sunscreen. September is my second favorite month. The weather is almost identical to June. Most days are absolutely perfect weather and extreme humidity is uncommon. In fact, by the end of September, there is barely any humidity at all. T-shirts, shorts, dresses, and light jackets are common to see. You should bring a hat and sunglasses because this month can be sunny. October is sweater weather. I got this look from Rent the Runway and I love it because it is perfect for this time of year. In October, you should bring a jacket when you go out because it can get chilly at night. It's also common to see people wearing shorter boots in October. The temperature can range from 50 degrees to 65 degrees. In November, New Yorkers wear leather jackets and pea coats. Essentially, it's similar to March in that you wear a winter jacket, but not a super heavy one like the one you have in December through February, because if you wore that type of coat this month, you will be sweating. The average temperature is 42 degrees to 54, and for shoes, people generally wear boots and other warmer shoes. And I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give this video a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.